Okay, you guys, um, I am out here at this very, very historic cemetery. It is huge, y'all. The walking I have done is, I know, five miles in a circle. It is insane to believe that I would be able to get everything at night. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little investigation and show you guys some of these really, really old headstones everything is from like the 1800s up through the 1900s and um it's it's extremely old like really old there's a lot of things in here that ha are decrepit and have fallen apart because it is so very old look at the fencing wow it's just amazing like it's leaning but it's you know it's still there I take you guys and walk this way so I am gonna do a nighttime investigation here that is for sure um, I just want to kind of give you guys a brief little look at the place in the daytime before we go and um, start investigating at night. There's some really, really odd graves here. Um, I mean, they go back very, very far, like I said, and some of them just consist of a board and a stone. Some have no names. Some are just a cinder block. Then you have some really magnificent pieces like these here that are from like 1845, 1860 through 1911, 12, stuff like that, that you can't hardly even read anymore. Very, very, very old. Wow, look at this one. ones like this it's really amazing Arabella that's a that's a really weird name for 1915 never really heard that name much So I'm going to take you down here to this really, really old one. Like, here goes some more. What was that? These leaves go to crunch and I heard footsteps. Maybe it's just me. Okay. So, I'm going to take you guys over here to the other one. And they're very, very old. Oh, the sun's right in my eyes. Like, check this one out, you guys. Really, really old. They're the only person buried in this little fence tree. But the one that I like the most is the one over here. I'll show you guys this one here it's absolutely amazing that this stood from 1881 I can't open the fence to get in because it's falling down but maybe I can get a better shot it's an 1881 headstone it's really amazing so we're gonna walk around here and look and see what else we can see trying to get where the sun's not in your eyes. It's hard to film. Here we'll go some more from the 1800s. 1900s. Keep hearing footsteps. Look 
This one is so neat. I wanted to show you guys. Look at this. I don't know if it's a child because it's so very small. But it says Charlie on the top of it. And it says we loved him. That is so sweet. This one died in 1887 at the age of 24 years old. Crazy, right? Life is definitely short, guys. And that's why I do this. Because with my terminal illness, I really want to know, is there something after my life? Like, I, I really do. And that's why I go out and I bring you guys with me to show you, you know, that this isn't a bunch of scary, made-up stuff. I'm actually investigating for real spirit. And I just figured that in my investigations that you guys would like to see all of the evidence that I collect. So, look at this one over here, guys. This one's extremely old. Extremely old. Wow. crazy how old these are and still standing. I don't want to walk on anybody. Look at this, you guys. This is really, really old. Extremely old. And check this out. Mother and father. And one was born January the 24th of 1832 died January 7th 1906 the father was born July 18th of 1825 and died March 4th 1904 that's crazy they didn't live very long without each other what was that you guys I keep hearing stuff moving Look at this fence growing out of this tree. Or the tree growing through the fence. May I say that again? What is that noise? I'm telling you guys, I hear something and it is following me. What in the world? That sun is just really bad. I'm not going to go that way because I can't film you guys in the sun. This cemetery just goes on and on for miles. Literally. And it's right on the water, guys. So, there's a passing boat. a bunch down here as well that I can't film directly into the sun okay guys the sun's kind of went down just a little bit and I am looking for the famous Walter Anderson and Peter Anderson that are buried here um, I'm really not sure where they would be. I have searched the cemetery over and I know they're here due to the public record, but I just don't know where at. So, um, I'm probably going to find me a place to sit and try to do a EVP session. Um, and see what I can get to come up. It's 
is very, very old, you guys. But like I said, keep your eyes peeled, okay? Just anything that I, I might not catch, maybe you guys can. So, I'm going to look around in here. Maybe it's one of these tombs. Gonna have to be a pretty old one. It's not gonna be anything new. Maybe this. Well, nope, that's not the Andersons. And I want to show you guys something. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just, I've got the creeps out here, really. But I want to show you this one tomb. It is so old. And it must have been handmade. There's no names or anything on it. But check this out, guys. It's so old. There's no way to read what was there. Maybe that's... It's a mausoleum of a child, maybe. I'm thinking. From the very, very early days. Very, very early days. I am not sure where it would be. <laughs> this place just goes for miles and miles, guys. And it is a workout. Up and down hills. I absolutely cannot find the graves. Absolutely nowhere. But what I plan on doing <clears throat> is sitting down and doing a EVP session. I've seen a swing and um, I'm probably going to make my way back to it. What is that noise? You guys, I feel like somebody is following me. It, it just could be because I'm out here by myself. I don't know. But I honestly feel like someone is like trailing me. Oh, that must have been a child. Sad. Wow. 1870 guys to 1906 these don't even have any information on them anymore oh wow look at this this team is broken Something Bradford. I really can't read it. Okay, guys. I want to find me a place to sit and see if I can get any EVPs out here. I'm going to cut through here, maybe. I just don't want to get the sun filming you guys. If anyone I'm walking across to you, I am sorry. I need mean no disrespect. I'm just trying to get through here. I'm blinded by the sun. These are really old ones, too. You guys, look at that. So, coming down here and I see myself a swing, and I'm going to sit on that swing. Hopefully it'll hold me up. And 
I'm going to try to do an EVP session. Okay. I think this swing is pretty sturdy. I think. We'll see. I'm going to try to sit here. Oh, here we go. Okay, guys. All right, y'all. get my recorder set up and I'm gonna just set you guys here like this so y'all can see if anything happens or goes on just set my recorder up Hey, is there anyone here with me? I come in peace and no harm. Can you tell me your name? If you talk into this box, I'll be able to hear it when I play it back. How many spirits are with me right now? Can you see what I'm doing? Yes. Roger, are you here? Peter or Walter Anderson, are you here? If you are, what year did you die? Can you tell me your name? Is there a message that you have? I'll be able to, to play this back and hear what you're saying, but I can't right now. Can you, can you see what I'm doing? Swinging? Yes, I'm swinging. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come out and do a nighttime investigation. Would you like that? Am I safe here? Ooh, I just felt something touch me. Wow. 
Ooh, wow. I felt something touch me. Was that you that touched me? Okay. Roger? Roger Odom, are you here? Of course. Can you see what I'm doing right now? I cleaned up your grave. I'm walking down to it now. Can you see me, Roger? Is there a message that you have for anyone? Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and close for now, but I'll be back for the nighttime investigation. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Okay, guys, so I got some responses, and I will be able to play them back once I get home to find out exactly what we caught. So in the meantime, we're going to walk to the car.